Hey y'all, it's Michelle Soul. As you can tell, I'm getting a few videos out the way all at one time. Um, I'm doing a video response to Soul Fitness Diva. She did this video, I believe, last weekend. It might have been last Saturday that I saw the video. Um, and I meant to do the response then just to get, get around to it. And the video she did was called, Why Are Christians So Sick? Why Are Christians So Sick? Now, I know what it sounds like automatically, and after I watched the video, you know, I kind of got a feel for where she was trying to go with it. And she did mention it a couple of times that it's not just Christians, but I'm just going to flat out say this now. This has nothing to do with religion, has nothing to do with Christians. I don't, a lot of times I don't know why we put um, labels on a problem, like black people do this or Christians do that. I don't understand why you put labels on a lot of stuff that's going on in the world. Health, as you can tell, if you look worldwide, is a people problem. That's just it. United States is the fattest, <laughs> fattest country. I mean, I'm from a state that's like one of the fattest. I'm from Texas. Okay. I think people just like to eat. We do got emotional problems going on. We got different issues going on. I can, I can tell you straight up. Yeah, I think it's an ignorance. Not an ignorance like somebody is dumb and they just keep eating it. An ignorance meaning, you know, we just don't know. Um, a lot of us grew up, I'm saying us because I mean United States people. A lot of us grew up, anytime something happens, we celebrate. And what do we celebrate with? We celebrate with food. We go out to eat. We, um... You know, and, and that's like the big thing on Sundays. You know, if you're from the South like I am, uh, and I'm not saying everybody from the South does this, but um, you have the big Sunday meal. Okay. Hey, hey, back right there. It's my husband's dog. I'm sorry. I don't like him all on my side. I don't need no fur and things over here. Anywho, um, we do we do the big Sunday meal. Um, which includes like different several kinds of meats. You got all your vegetables on the table, but your vegetables may be loaded down with some kind of animal fat or another, you know. Um, and that's how we learn to cook it. So that's how we continue to cook it. For myself, however, you know, I've learned healthy ways to cook certain things. Some things I've cut out of my diet and all that stuff like that. Also, um, like I said, it's a lifestyle. Being in America, you got uh, rituals, traditions, which is what I talked about. You also... Um, Somebody's probably going to be like, what, are you serious? But look back at slavery. When my, my husband don't eat pork, I rarely eat pork. It's, it's like every once in a blue moon type thing. And it's because I grew up with it. I like the flavor. That's just point blank period. Um, but I don't have to have it. I, I, actually, I don't have to have a lot of meats. I just, you know, in fact, I don't eat a lot of meats. Um, but every once in a blue moon, just because I don't crave meat all the time, but, um, what were we given, you know, we are given the pig, the hog, or whatever the case may be, you ate everything out of it, me and somebody were just talking about, uh, pickled pig feet, <laughs> another, another lady I was talking to, she was talking about eating the chicken feet, I mean, there's nothing on chicken feet, but people still eating on it, so, you know what I mean, um, and we carry those traditions with us here, now we don't have to eat the stuff, but we stay eating the stuff. And I'm not just trying to say for black people, like I said, it's not even just for Christians. It's like people regardless, especially here in the U.S. So I'm going to I'm gonna add this in it because we are talking about Christians since it's called Why Are Christians So Sick? I, I just want to say this. I'm going to throw some um, some Bible verses out there for my Christian folks to go out there and check, the, check these out because the Bible is going to tell you exactly what you should and should not be eating. It's going to let you know. And meat is included. A lot of people say, well, uh, God didn't intend for us to eat the meat. And our teeth are flattened. That's for veg vegetations and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and drop drop you with some of these um, uh, Bible verses so you can check those things out for yourself. But I will say that, um, <laughs> you know, like I said, it, it's, a, it's a people thing. It's a people thing. It has nothing to do with Christianity or who you are on the religious side. I just I think I'm just so tired of hearing, well, uh, you know, you're Christian and you're sin or whatever like that. You know, it's 
and this is like all over the place, you know, it's anytime a, a Christian do something wrong, you know, we refer to it, oh, the Holy Roller did this. But what you got to understand about Christians, I, I'm speaking of Christians because I know, you know, uh, we fall down, we're human, we get back up. That's just what it is. Um, a, being a Christian don't mean that we have to always be right, we have to always do right, because we're not going to always do right. We just know how to get back up and continue our life and continue to praise God, uh, give Him glory, or whatever like that. But I'm not trying to preach on here, but I'm just saying, overeating has nothing to do with it. So I'm going to drop you with these verses. I'll put a little something behind it. But um, for the Christians out there that, that are watching this, we hope you gain a little bit of knowledge off of it. And I do hope you take it back to the church because, believe it or not, people, the church holds a lot of what do you call it, holds a lot of power. There are things that can be started in the church and people can learn from it. You know, uh, a lot of people don't know certain things because we don't research on our own or, you know, it's just not a big concern to us. But if we take information back to the church and say, hey, pastor, hey, first lady, what the case may be, or we want to start a little group, hey, this is what I learned and I would like to look further into this, it, it can be done. A lot of times we, um, in the church, we talk about, you know, other things, life, love, but we never, from my experience, we've never talked about food and health and what we can and cannot eat and how to cook it. Just never have. In fact, after church, we go straight to go eat something. We go, maybe go out or maybe we have a big Sunday meal or something like that. So, um. I would like to see that happen as well. You take it back to church and say, hey, we want to talk about health because, hey, our health, our health is declining here in the U.S. So here's some um, verses I want to drop you with. And we're going to start from the beginning. I only have a few. I mean, there's a lot out there, so you may have to go to your Bible. Check it out for yourself. Um, Genesis 1 and 29. That's the original um, That's the original diet. And pretty much it was vegetation. Let me see. I wasn't planning on looking it up because I've already read it. Uh I just want to make sure I'm telling you right when I'm doing this. And I did take note, but yeah, so one in twenty nine and it tell and, and it says then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant. So every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it, they will be yours for food. So that was the original plan, that was the first thing set out. And then you go to Genesis three eighteen. It's like a modified version there, right? So and, and my Bible has like a bunch of footnotes, so it'll lead you to the next thing and stuff like that. And of course, you got the index and all that. Um, you always got the internet. 318, it will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat of plants of the field. So now you got food in the field. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe this is. I believe this is after they ate the fruit of the tree. And so this is kind of like, mm, I ain't saying a curse, but it kind of is, okay? Um, but they're saying that you're going to have to eat, you will, um, it will produce thorns and thistles, and uh, you will eat of the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food, okay, um, until you return to the ground. So that's uh, the modified. Um, and then let's see. You can see Genesis 9, 3, and 4 for like after the flood. That's like another modification. But um, what I really um, got into and what I really read was um, if you go to Leviticus 11. Leviticus 11 talks about all the meat that you can eat. All right, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to go over because I, I do want you to go through it for yourself or whatever I did and it will tell you uh, for real. The whole Leviticus 11, make sure you check that thing out. It's going to tell you exactly, exactly what you should be eating. So, um, Christians out there, I hope y'all go check that out. Take that thing back to the church. Take it back to your pastor. Start a group. Um, because a lot of us need to be a little bit more health conscious than we are. Um, but like I said before, this is not a Christian thing. It's a people thing. You know, it's ignorant that we got going on. Um, and so I do encourage you to go ahead and check out different websites. You know, internet internet is big. Readings and stuff, and, and find out how to eat better for yourself. And it's also about portion control. 
you know, you can eat most anything, but control your portion sizes. So that leads me to like another video that I'm gonna do, just a couple, a few tips that can help you with your eat, eating and uh, all that good stuff like that. So I hope um, just a little bit of nugget of knowledge and check out Soul Fitness Diva. Um, so, because I'm responding to her, so when I upload it, I upload it to hers as well. So, thank you.